In conclusion, using the examples as a guide as to what you can place inside of ChatGPT, you will be able to create scenarios that go beyond the use of a search engine. You'll also want to pay attention to the direction of the chatbot, specifically the research that's being done on the API as well as the chatbot interface. And although you'll see many experts speak to where they think OpenAI is going, you can get a sense for the direction by reading the blog and the research that OpenAI is doing. And in terms of AI in general, there are a number of books available that speak to the broader context of AI and what you can expect from the industry as a whole. And although it doesn't have to be the first priority, if you intend to rely on ChatGPT in the long run, you will want to keep track of the view of the platform from the investment world. This can signal the direction of the company and can give insight on how and when the platform will become a paid application and its overall direction. And of course, you can ask ChatGPT what the best references are about itself. In some cases, ChatGPT will tell you about books. In other cases, ChatGPT will tell you about research papers that you can read to determine where the platform should be going. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you either in another video or in another course. Hey, this is uh, Chapo North. Thanks again for watching the video. If you'd like to get more videos like this, click the link below this video, and we'll have some more videos for you that you can watch that will teach you how to use uh, ChatGPT for beginners. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.